Hello everybody, we're back with another video of Get It or Forget It. This time we have, um, I would think uh, to call this a real treat because this is going to be a real money saver for some of us that, you know, that don't have the uh, money to actually uh, spend on new phones. This is the Motorola Atrix HD from AT&T. Now this phone has already been unlocked and I'm currently using it with T-Mobile and I'm getting 4G service with it. Um, and it actually the the frequencies on it actually do match AT&T and T-Mobile so you can actually use it with either of the service providers now this phone is currently running Jelly Bean um, let's take a look at the version on it it's running 4.1.1 and the phone is extremely fast I mean I, I don't know how else to put it other than the phone is very fast very nice to use phone um, the screen is a 4.3 inch LCD, excuse me, I believe it's an AMOLED, I believe. Uh, I haven't checked on the, on the facts of the phone yet. Um, I've just been using it for about a week, week and a half, and I don't really care what it's got in it. Uh, the phone costs between $250 and $300, brand new. And wow, I mean, it's, it's what a great phone. Um, as far as the... Uh, the sign of the phone, it does resemble a Motorola Racer from Verizon. Unfortunately, Motorola doesn't really make that many phones for uh, GSM providers. They pretty much make them for uh, Verizon the most. But uh, this phone right here, it's, 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 I don't know why else to put it other than it's definitely a get it. Definitely a money saver. And it's going to be for uh, people that, you know, they want to get a new phone, the new uh, versions of Android. And they don't want to spend the money like on a Samsung Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Note 2, a Nexus 4. Uh, you're looking between 400 and up. This phone you can find it right now on Craigslist, eBay, for around 250 to 300 dollars, depending on the condition. And I'm talking about either used, used in great condition that looks just like new, or new still in the packaging and all that stuff. Uh, again, the Motorola Atrix HD. Definitely get it. It will do everything your uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 does and more. Um, there, I really have nothing else to ask of this phone or or uh, to do. The only downside that I, that I have noted, though, you know, there's, it's good to mention the goods and the bads. And now that I think about it, there is a couple of bad things. One, the uh, camera. I, even though it is a uh, eight megapixel camera. The pictures do tend to have a bit of a blue haze on them, and I believe that's the white balance, so if you want to fiddle with it a little bit, you should be okay. The second part, the uh, phone does not have a does not have a removable battery. Uh, it only has a small um, um, little, where is that little thing? Okay, here it is, a small little door on it for your micro SD card and your micro SIM card. The last thing that I have noticed that I do not like is the fact that the, the Wi-Fi tethering, um, you cannot activate it simply because it's, it, it was an AT&T phone. So it needs to have some sort of um, activation through AT&T in order for you to be able to do it. Even though I have T-Mobile and I am using T-Mobile on it. I don't know if you can see that. But um, yeah, I really don't care. I haven't, I haven't really needed it much lately. Um, as far as web browsing... Um, I really have no problems with it. I do have the Google browser in it, in the the stock Android. Um, I have not tried Firefox yet, but I mean, I, I believe I shouldn't have any problems. Um, now that I think, I, I, I can't think of anything else really. Um, it's definitely a get it, definitely a good money saver, definitely a good way for you guys to stay on top of uh, the brand new Android operating systems without spending too much money. Alright, thanks again everybody for your time. Take care.